Hi, I'm Amy Barrett Daffin, and today I'm going to talk to you about TAP. I'm the publisher at CNT Publishing, and I'm super excited to share with you our transfer artist paper. So TAP is an image transfer paper, and you can use it on just about any substrate. You can use it on fabric, you can use it on paper, you can use it on wood, you can use it on metal, mica, glass, just about anything. The other thing with TAP is you can run it through an inkjet printer, not a laser printer, and you can also um, draw on it, paint on it, stamp on it, and all those images can be transferred as well. You can even choose two different finishes. You can have a shiny finish, which I'll show you in a few minutes, or you can have a matte finish. So transferred images are crisp, color fast, you can wash them and they're crack resistant. You can even layer images one on top of the other which will create a wonderful collage look. To use an inkjet printer, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you organize your images if you're printing from an inkjet printer onto your computer first so that you're using up every inch of that tap. If you'll notice, the type is going right reading. If you're going to put that on tap, you need to reverse it so that it's reversed so that when you flip this paper over and you go to transfer it, then it's right reading on the printed surface. There's two sides to the tap. So when you're getting ready to put tap in your printer, you want to make sure that um, you know which side is which. The side with these light purple dots is the back, and this is the side with the tap. So whichever way your printer works, whether you put it in and it slides it out and prints like that, you just want to make sure that you're printing on the white side and not the purple dotted side. So depending on your image, you may want to fussy cut out the white. So what you do is you get really close to the edge of your image, and if you're not 100% perfect, that's okay. So then you're just trimming off the white so that the, what transfers is just the butterfly image. And because this is movie magic, I'm done cutting already. Tap works best on non-synthetic surfaces. As I mentioned earlier, it works great on wood, on glass, on metal, on fabric, on paper, on craft text. So, but you wouldn't want to try to put it on something like polyester fabric or plastic. It won't work on those surfaces. So just try to think about things that are more natural surfaces and not synthetic surfaces. Something to keep in mind, especially if you're working with fabric or paper, is when you choose the color of your fabric, you need to keep in mind that tap is transparent. So whatever color you're tapping the image onto, that impacts what color your transfer is going to be. And I'm going to give you three examples that we put together so that you can see the difference. So you can see here on this white fabric, everything is crisp and clear and all the images look the same. Now on this next fabric that has two different values, a light value and a dark value, what you can see is that you can see these little leaves coming through the transfer. For this all black transfer, fine. For this transfer, it gives it sort of a vintage look, which isn't a bad thing. You just need to know what you're going to get. And then the third thing is when you're transferring onto dark colors, you can see that dark color comes right through. So for this bottom Im image, it doesn't really work anymore. For the black image, I think it still looks pretty cool. And for the butterfly, eh, maybe, maybe not. The darker your fabric goes, the harder it will be to see the tap image. For example, if you try to transfer onto black fabric, it won't show. What you want to do is start by preheating your iron and you want it on the hottest setting but no steam. So we've got our iron all set up and you want to use a flat firm surface uh, to do your transfer on. Try to make sure it's a firm background because some of them have, they're too squishy and you don't get a good transfer. So the first you want, thing you want to do, I, I have a few wrinkles so I'm going to just press these out until my fabric is nice and smooth. 
and I've removed all the wrinkles and then just in case there are any threads, I can just get those off. There we go. I'm gonna smooth it out one more time. And I'm going to take my image and I'm going to place it uh, face down with the little purple dots on the back. And I am going to use uh, silicone release paper. It's a product that we sell. It's great to use when you're transferring tap. So the first thing you want to do is hold your image down and just sort of tap it for three seconds. So that's one, two, three. So now I've got a good seal. And now I want to spend about 20 seconds pressing down on my image transfer. And make sure you get all the edges and all the corners. If you're going to be washing this transfer, you want to make sure that you do it for the full amount of time uh, so that it really is adhered to the fabric nicely. Now, if you're going to do something for an art project, it may not need to be done for the full amount of time. So remember, two minutes for the full sheet, and if it's a smaller transfer, you can do 30 seconds. That should be sufficient. Let's take a look. Now, something to keep in mind, um, you're gonna peel back the corner and remember, hot iron, hot fabric, hot transfer. So, you know, you wanna touch, touch it and make sure it's not so hot that it's gonna burn you. And you're just gonna grab a little edge and peel back and look at that. So I'm doing what's called a hot peel. I'm peeling it off the fabric while it is warm. And it just, it comes off beautifully. Now, oh, I'm noticing there's a teeny little spot here that didn't transfer. So I'm just gonna lay that back down. I'm gonna put my pressing cloth back on and I'm just gonna touch it for another moment or two. And the nice thing is because the transfer is adhered, uh, it, it'll stay right where it was. So let's go back to peeling. And look, it peels off beautifully. So one of the really cool things you can do with tap is you can layer. So we've got our butterfly down and now I'm gonna take this word beauty, which is printed backwards. And I'm just going to lay the word beauty right across here. I'm going to lay my silicone release paper and I'm going to press on the whole piece. But I'm especially going to press right on where I'm doing the word beauty. Okay, and then I'm just going to peel this back. And let's see how our word transfer did go. And there it is. So it sort of got lost in the butterfly's wing, but it still shows you how you can layer. Next, what I wanted to show you real quickly is that depending on the surface that you're doing, you want to make sure whether you're hot peeling, which is what I just did, or cold peeling, which is where you let the transfer sit for a moment until the surface that you transferred onto cools off and the transfer cools off. So, for this, I did a hot peel, and you can see these words are right reading. But then what I did was I put the um, heart on top, and you might be able to see there's a sheen on the heart, but not on the words. So this was a collage image, and I think it turned out really nicely. So now you're all ready to start using TAP, the Transfer Artist Paper by CNT Publishing. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. And we have tons of other uh, videos on our YouTube channel about TAP. So check those out and thank you for watching. Once again, my name's Amy Barrett Daffin and I'm the publisher at CNT Publishing.